We've come a long ways. Mayor Jimmy Alexander is all smiles when he gets to talk about how much the city of Nolansville has changed over the years. You can live in Nolansville, you can get anywhere. Crime right here, almost non-existent. Property tax rates, lowest property tax rate of any town in Williamson County that has any kind of police department. Oh, he'll go on all day talking about Nolansville if you let him. You can't blame him for being proud. After all, his small town has undergone some big changes, and it continues to grow under his watch, like new businesses, new subdivisions, new roads, and new schools. There was a time Alexander remembers when the town was so small, government business was done, well, anywhere possible. The first employee we hired was a city recorder, town recorder. They worked out of the trunk of the mayor's car. They would meet at his house, he'd have all the papers there, They'd meet on the, uh, his dining room table and conduct town business. Alexander, who left Metro government in the 90s, had planned on retiring when he moved to Nolansville. Instead, he ran for mayor three years ago and won. This is our planning administrator. Who he tells me all this inside the brand new town hall building. The 16,000 square foot building opened two years ago. Quite the change from once doing business from the mayor's car. In a recent growth study report, the city of Nolansville is projected to double in population to 15,000 residents by the year 2025. The report also indicated that this brand new town hall building won't be big enough to fill all the new positions. In part two, I'll tell you which new jobs are coming to Nolansville, the city's fight to get a liquor store, and the construction of two new schools. In Nolansville, Nick Paranjapay, Williamson Source.